Yeah, sure. Man. So today we will discuss about the leading action of soap. So leading action of soap. So children already we discussed about the preparation of soap. Children, I hope everyone remember. So how do we prepare soap? So in saponification reaction, children, we have seen that just the base gives soap plus alcohol. I hope everyone remember, children. That just the base gives soap plus alcohol. Okay, soap molecules in the market, different different soap molecules in the And chemically, what is the soap? Sodium or potassium salts of long chain carboxylic or fatty acids. Some will say carboxylic acids, some will say fatty acids. Anything is okay. Sodium or potassium salts of long chain carboxylic acids. So the definition of soap is sodium or potassium salts of long chain carboxylic acid. It can be like in the market whatever source you get, it will be like C17, H75, CO, NA, and different different formulas will be there. Just for the example only. Okay. So children, C17 means 17 carbons will be there. Children, okay. 17 carbons will be there. Of course, 17 carbons. And last CO and NA. All these 17 carbons I will represent it as tail. And COONA I represent as head. This is COONA I am representing it as head. And all the carbons I am representing as tail. All the carbons I am representing as a tail chain. Okay. So one soap molecule is called mesels. One soap molecule is called mesels or micelle or whatever. One soap molecule. One soap molecule really does exist on six per hour convenience. We are drawing like one soap molecule sugar. Okay, so one soap molecule, every soap molecule will have one head and one tail. This we are saying as head, this we are saying as tail. What is tail? So many carbon atoms is tail. tail. Head is having charge. Head is having charge because CO is minus NA is plus. Head is having charge. Whereas tails are made up of carbon no sugar. Carbon molding atoms undergo covalent bondings. Carbon atoms undergo covalent bondings. Covalent bondings don't have charges. Covalent bondings don't have charges. You already know because uh, covalent bondings they don't have charges because in covalent bondings because just only sharing is there, no charges. Whereas uh, this end has charges because they are ionic. Any compounds have charges because they are having ionic. Water gets attached to it. Water. Okay, because water is getting attached because water is also having charges. Water is a polar covalent bond. Water is having charges, and this is also having charges. This water gets attached to here. That's why it is called hydrophilic end. Who is called hydrophilic end? Head is called hydrophilic end. Head of the soap, not our head. And this don't have charges, so they don't get attached to water, children, but they get attached to oil. Oil is dirt. We consider oil is dirt. Children. Okay, and because they are not getting attached to water, they are called as hydrophobic acid. Means they don't like water. Hydrophobic and water hating it, water loving it. Okay, children. So what I'm discussing is children, if they one soap molecule like this, this head is getting attached to water head there, and tail is getting attached to oil. Oil means dirt. Sir, so why oil is dirt? You will say. I will say, children, listen. See children, when they are moving on the road and they are near outside, all the dust will fall on our body. Dust is in powdery form only, okay, I accept. But our body skin has sebaceous glands and oil glands we call in normal language. The sebaceous glands continuously they secrete oil for our skin. For our skin, they will secrete oil children. Sebum, they will say sebum. Okay, that makes our skin moist and smooth children. If not, it will become dry and parched looking. So with that oil, when the dust is mixing, the oil will be dust, dust, the dust will become oily in nature because our skin has oil and this is powder, powder plus oil, oily in nature. Oil gets attached to tail because oils have covalent. Covalent don't have charges. Oils have covalent. I already told unsaturated hydrocarbons. Okay. So finally, what I want to say, children, for one soap molecule, for one soap molecule, one head will be there, one tail will be there. This is head. This is tail. Head gets attached to water and tail gets attached to dirt. All gets attached to that. Head gets attached to water. Okay.
bucket. So the water, so the water head to help the tail to help the okay. So water getting attached to the head. Who said so head? Head is already attached to tail, tail is getting attached to the so children now I try to understand when you are washing hands, when you are washing hands with soap, like this. When you are washing hands with soap, children, and you will put your hand under the water. When you are putting your hand under the water, the water goes away like this. Water goes away. Along with the water, head of the soap will go. Along with the head of the soap, tail of the soap will go. Along with the tail of the soap, that will go from your skin. That's all. Okay, children, now we are saying you will put soap to your hand. You will print, you will cut like this and you will put under the tap. So, when water is going away from your hand, along with the water, head of the soap will go. Along with the head of the soap, tail of the soap will go. Along with the tail of the soap, your dirt will go. And this is how, in the same way, children, when we are putting our soap to our face or body or arms or legs, anywhere when you are taking bath, so after rubbing, what we will do, we will put sprinkle the water on the face so that water will come and fall down again. Along with the water, head will go, not our head, children, so head. Okay, and along with the head, tail will go, along with the tail, dirt will go, and in this way, uh, the uh, face and body gets clean. Same with children, everywhere. Suppose cloths also, same children, cloth. We'll take a bucket, we'll mix water. Okay, we'll take a bucket. Okay, you are trying, you are trying to understand, children, you are trying to understand. We'll take a bucket, we'll mix, put water, in this, we'll mix, uh, put some uh, detergent water. We'll put some detergent. Okay, children. After that, then we'll put our cloth inside and we will rinse it. Why do we rinse it? They are asking the exam question. Why do we rinse? Why do we be? Why do we hit on the with the bag? Why do we hit on the stone? Uh, laundry people they they be hitting on the stone. And children, why? He said, dirt molecules are broken into small molecules. That is what emulsification. Dirt big molecules are broken down into small molecules, so the cleaning action becomes easy. Why do we rinse? Why do we rinse the cloth? Why do we cleaning rinse it? Big to dirt molecules become small dirt molecules. Big to dirt molecules become small dirt molecules. That is called emulsification. So the cleaning action becomes easy. That's all. Okay. Now, when you dip your cloth in the detergent powder, okay, and you remove this cloth, they will show in the ads now it will become white. How? Inside water is there. So the water, head of the soap is there. So the head of the soap, tail of the soap is there. So the tail of the soap, dirt is trapped inside. That is getting trapped inside and the clean cloth will come outside. This is called cleaning action of soap. Okay, children? So those who did not understand, slowly I will say last thing, try to understand. Try to understand. Okay, children? Slowly I am saying one soap molecule will have head and tail. This is head. This is tail. This have charge, this don't have charge. To the head, the water is attached. To the tail, dirt is attached. Okay, when you are washing your hands with soap, okay, after putting your hand under the tap, and the water will move away from your hands, water will go away. Along with the water, the head of the soap will go. Along with the head of the soap, tail of the soap will go. Along with the tail of the soap, dirt will go because dirt is attached to the tail. Why? Because dirt is oily in nature. Oils are hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons means carbons. Carbons undergo covalent bonding. Covalent bonds don't have charges. Don't have charges. Because they don't have charges, they also get attached to tail. Tail is also made up of carbon. This also don't have charge. Oil also don't have charge. They both get attached. Hydrophobic. This is hydrophobic. This is phobic. Phobic means water loving end. This is phobic means phobia. They don't love water. Hydrophobic end, hydrophobic end. Hydrophobic end, hydrophobic end. Water loving end, water hating end. Like this uh, cleaning action of soap will happen. Children. I hope uh, everyone understood the cleaning action of soap, children. Okay. So, this cleaning action of soap, children, this detergents and uh, soap or whatever it is, children, any cleaning is done with the same principle, children. Okay. I hope everyone understood. Now we are reading the textbook, you can understand children because when they use the words like misers, misers, you will not understand what is a misser you mean. Misser is one soap molecule. Okay, if they say hydrophobic end, hydrophobic means head, water loving it. Hydrophobic end, tail, water hating it. So the hydrophobic end, dirt gets attached because they both don't have charge, they get attached. So the hydrophobic end, water gets attached because they both have charge, this one they both get attached. When you read now, you will understand. They will say emulsification, emulsification means breaking with uh, the molecules to small. They will use technical terms in the textbook, children. Directly they will give. You will not understand. Listen to this carefully. Try to understand. Now you read the textbook. You will understand. Cleaning action of soap is very important question in board exam. Three marks, five marks. Regularly they are asking this question, children. 
Okay, apart from this, so we also have differences between soaps and detergents, which I will discuss in the next question. In the uh, description, children, I put some questions, try to answer all those questions, and it will help you. It will be helpful for practicing, children. Thank you so much. This is cleaning and change of soap. So, soaps are dependent, sodium or potassium also, long chain, carboxylic acids.